Hi, everybody. Father Bill Holzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I'm coming to you today to help, help you maybe and help myself as I continue to walk this walk and talk the talk, is to consider a paradigm that may help you to deal with the stress in your life in a Christian way. Yes, we should trust in Jesus, absolutely. But then the question is, what did Jesus do? How did he deal with his stress? Well, first, of course, he prayed. He prayed to his father, and that's what we should do, absolutely. But he also brought together around him his special individuals, Peter, James, and John. That was his core group. And from there was the 12 apostles. And from there was the 70 disciples, moving on to, of course, the world. So he didn't just change the world just by doing it, which, of course, God can do anything. But he changed the world by starting locally dealing with the things that are going on locally, confiding with and listening to and talking with and teaching his closest apostles, Peter, James, and John, moving on to the rest of the apostles, etc. And this model is a model that has been offered to me by a group called Amazing Parish and Pat Lencioni as a way of kind of doing church. And I've been working with Deacon Brett and with our leadership team. We have a leadership team called the PLT, Parish Leadership Team. Deacon Brett's on there, Dana Morano, our business manager, and Erwin, of course, Dr. Ann is also on there. She's our principal, and Father Anthony Wong Fan. We meet every Wednesday to kind of talk about things that are going on and pray that we will be doing what's needed to be done to be the best administration we can be so that the ministry, the mission of the parish can go forward. So Pat Lancioni and the Amazing Parish, one of the many different things they talk about is about how we deal with the concerns that are before us. How do we discern what is more important than another thing? And he uses this image of a circle of influence and a circle of interest. A circle of influence is those things that are close to us, and a circle of interest are things that are much more distant. Like, for example, a circle of interest would be something like world peace. We all want it. Or, you know, and we consider like what's going on in the news, watching the news could be very saddening to us. And how much can we actually do about that? First, of course, we can always pray. That's the first thing to do. But beyond that, can we actually go to, say, Russia and talk to the Kremlin? Can we actually talk to the leaders in, uh, let's say, Israel or in Kiev or you know, Hamas? Can we do any of those things? We We can't. There are people that probably could. But that's in the circle of our interest. We hear about those things on the news, but the problem is sometimes we focus on those things. The focus on the things that are of the circle of interest instead of talking about or thinking about and acting about the circle of influence. And what's that? Those are the things that are most close to us. Your spouse, your kids, your family, maybe your work, the people you work with, maybe you're a, a, a boss of some kind, people that you... Uh, manage, who knows? Those are the things, your friends, those are the things that you may have the ability to influence or be influenced by. These are the things that we need to be working on. The problem is, as Pat Lencioni mentions, if we focus on the, only the circle of interest, then that circle of influence shrinks. Why? Because we're, we're spending more time on the things that, that we can't do anything about and what is the result of that? More stress, fear, lack of hope, possibly despair. So I want to encourage us and caution us. I want to encourage us to be focused on the circle of influence and be cautious about getting wound up by the circle of interest. One way to judge that is well, how much time are you watching the news? Because it's almost always about something outside. Of, even if it's local, it's generally outside of our sphere or excuse me our circle of an influence right so think about that and ponder on working on your circle of influence and what will happen if you do and what will happen if we do well i'm sure this is what's happening before i got here because things were booming and and we need to continue that but that means we need to be focused on what's close to us. So that's why we here at Holy Trinity, we focus on, when it comes to the Mass, the center of everything that we do. And even in that, we focus on hospitality, preaching, and music. That's all so that we can fo be focused on the most important thing, which is 
Christ and his presence in the Eucharist, and then the scriptures proclaimed. And then from there we go out. So when we do the circle of influence well, then it grows, and that circle of interest shrinks. It's always going to be there. But what's happening is that our circle of interest expands into, or excuse me, our circle of influence start to eke into and spill into that circle of interest. How? Because here we are, we're doing what we're called to do. It's exciting. We love doing it. And then we share it with other people. That's called evangelization. And they hear about it and they join in. And then more people are a part of that. And that starts to affect beyond our doors. And when it affects beyond our doors, the people outside then hear and they may come. And it's not just about being in the church, but about the faith. More people will be on fire for the faith or come to know Jesus for the first time or come back to the church from been gone a long time. So friends, I want to encourage you about those, those things, the, the circle of influence. This weekend, Deacon Brett is offering the homily, pray for him. That is doing something that can affect something locally. And uh, I hope to see you. Let's say hello to each other when we, when you come. And if you have any comments or questions, of course, I'd love to hear where maybe that you've done something that's really affected your circle of influence and then expanded. God bless you, everybody, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye. I want to offer you that simple thought and, and topic, so ponder on that this weekend, going through your week. And Snickers says, Hey, bud. Snickers says, Hello, and have a great week. Deacon Brett is going to be preaching this weekend. Pray for him. And I'll see you this weekend. <laughs> Bye-bye.